We will now create an index action and view that lists all articles, create links between all pages, get a deeper understanding for routes, and hopefully no more errors. Go back to your terminal and type rake routes to display all our routes options. Okay, we need a, under the prefix article for the get verb, we need the index action. Go back to your articles controller and we're going to type def index and Okay, and in here we do the instance variable again, but this time it's going to type articles because we want all articles. Equals article with capital A dot all to access all articles. Go to the views articles folder and create a file named index.html.erb so type index.html.erb here we will put in the code that displays all the articles give it an h1 tag and type uh, the title you like I will type list of all articles close the h1 tag we will list all articles in the table. So start by typing a table tag. Type two header tags within the table row. So th and then another header tag. Contain this within the table row, tr slash tr within the table header type title the next one type text we'll now create a do loop we will list all the articles in the do loop will iterate through each of the articles to dynamically display them so type the erb syntax less than sign Senate sign equal sign at articles dot each the method each lists all the articles do pipe sign article oops misspelled again a r t articles and pipe sign and close the Ruby syntax give it a tr tag for a table row and we need and close the tr tag within this table row we need two td tags two table data so the second one td and slash td within the first td tag Do the Ruby syntax again, less than sign, percentage sign, equal sign. Type article without at sign, dot title. And close the Ruby syntax. The article here and the article within the pipe sign, those names must match. It does not have an at sign for it. It's not the instance variable. And here, the Ruby syntax again, type article dot text.
this will display the title and the text from the database in two columns. We also need a third column for a link that will display an article when we clicked on it. So type the Ruby syntax and link link underscore two. This is the link method in Ruby. Single quotation mark and type show comma type article underscore path and parenthesis. Within the parenthesis type article. This is the path that would take us to the article and the specific ID of the article that is clicked on is passed within the parenthesis. We need to end the do loop. So type less than sign, percentage sign, end, percentage sign, less, greater than sign. We don't need an equal sign here. Remember, we only need equal sign when we want to display things to the screen. And let's close the table, slash table. Let's go to the screen, to the browser. Oops. Now this is a bunch of junk. I really don't want that. Let's see what what kind of mistake I did. Ah, there it is. In f with, when we declare the do loop, we have an equal sign there. That does not need to be there. Remember that the equal sign displays to the screen. There we go. Click on a few show links to make sure it matches the title and text in the list. Let's create a new article. In the address bar, type new or slash new. Go to your browser and open up a new browser window. Let's look for some dummy text. So here I'm just searching for what I want. Okay. You can type L-I-P-S-U-M dot com Lipson and we will grab some uh, Latin dummy text. You can scroll down, click generate and just copy this first paragraph that you see. Okay, let's go back to our form. Just type a title, uh, anything you want. I'm going to type lorem latin and paste the uh, dummy text into your text field. There we go. So you see now we have a little bit more text. All this has a point to it. Okay. But now we went back to the list here. As you see, there is a lot of text showing in the list. Would be great if it was only a snippet of it. So let's truncate this text. Go back to your text editor in the articles index file. In front of article text, type truncate parenthesis, do a closing parenthesis, comma, type length, colon, 75 within quotation marks. Uh, 75 is going to be the length of the amount of characters we wish to show. And here's a mistake. It's a G in length. And I'm making a big mistake here. Everything needs to be within the parenthesis of the truncate. So closing parenthesis after here. It also cannot be quotation marks here because this is a number, not a character. All right, so here is our, in our show page, page we have a full text, but going to the art list of articles, we only show 75 characters. Okay, go back to the articles index page. Actually, let's go to the article show page and let's create a link back to the list of articles page. So in the bottom, give it a paragraph tag and then the opening syntax for the Ruby. Cl type link underscore two and single quotation. Actually, let's go and check out the rake route what we need. So type rake routes to just make sure we get the right routes in the link. Okay, we still need go back to the index article in the articles folder. 
So in the prefix column, it says we need articles, and then we're going to type underscore path. So let's give it a click text of back, and then comma, and then type articles underscore path, P-A-T-H, and close the Ruby syntax. Let's go and check it out in our browser and see how it looks what it looks like. Let's refresh. Let's click on a show link. There we go. All right. And click on another show link. Just to test it. There we go. We still have that back link. Okay? Let's let's create a few more links. Let's go back to our welcome folder and to the index .html.erb here. This is our home page now. So let's give it another title. Let's say welcome to my blog. And within the paragraph tag, let's create a link to the list of articles. So type link underscore two. And let's give it a click text of uh, let's type my blog and comma and let's go and see what path we need. Kay. It's still going to be the prefix articles for the action index. Mm -hmm. So type article underscore path and then close the Ruby syntax. And let's go and see what that looks like. So erase the articles and click. So you go to the home page, click on my blog and here we go. Okay. Now it would be nice if we actually had a link here that goes back to the home page. So let's go and do that. Okay. So in the bottom on the, the closing tag for table under articles index page give it a paragraph tag and the ruby syntax less than sign percentage sign equal type link underscore two and then let's give it a click text of home and let's go and see what we need here okay we need to go back to the index welcome there we go all right, so we need welcome underscore index and then underscore path. Okay, and close the Ruby syntax. Let's go and look at that. Okay, refresh. Click my blog. Okay, and there we go. We have a link to home there in the bottom. All right, let's go and put in a link in the show page. So let's just copy this from the welcome index page and go to your show.html.erb and paste it in. Let's erase this paragraph tag in the middle and just indent a little bit here. And I'm gonna style a little bit. I'm gonna give it a pipe sign. It's just it's a bit, it's a bit of styling. We're going to get to the styling soon. Refresh. Voila. And now we have back and a home. So we can click on the home link. Okay. Let's clear the page and let's commit what we did. Type git status to remind us here what we did. Control. We touched all these files and folders. Type git add space git commit dash m single quotation. And let's think about what we did. So we added, uh, um, not links, we would type that too, but added index, action, and template. How to type and talk at the same time. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then um, um, we created the list of articles, right? or let's call it blog entries. Mm -hmm. 
in the not in the action uh, but in the template index I should not say action there, there. template index and then comma and now we can type the links what we did we created links between pages all right okay let's clear and let's do git status all right on branch master nothing to commit okay let's move forward all right